Isaiah 6, 8 says, Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. You and I are God's messengers. In Acts 9, we learn about a man named Saul who was not a friend of Jesus. In fact, he arrested anyone who declared that Jesus is the Messiah. One day as he was traveling, he was surrounded by the presence of the Lord, and the Lord told him to go to the next city, and there he would tell him what to do next. Saul was blinded and didn't eat or drink for the remainder of the journey. When he got to the next town, he was praying, and the Lord told him that a man named Ananias would come to him and restore his sight. At that same time, the Lord appeared to Ananias, one of God's disciples, and said that he needed him to go to Saul and restore his sight. Ananias was nervous because he knew that Saul did not like believers of Jesus. But God insisted that Saul was his chosen instrument and that Ananias needed to be the one to go and restore his sight. Ananias went to the house where Saul was and restored his sight in the name of Jesus. Saul got up, ate, and drank, regained his strength, and was renamed Paul. And Paul went on to become one of the most influential disciples of Jesus of all time. Sometimes God is going to lead you to talk to people that you don't really want to talk to. But ultimately, it's important that you do so because chances are is that he's already warned that person that you are going to be the one to come fulfill what the Lord had said. No matter what it looks like, God is orchestrating the use of his chosen instruments. And you and I are some of those instruments and we get to be God's messengers.